So I decided to try something, uh, a little bit of an experiment. I just got Roger's Gigabit 5 for the first time. Decided to try it out after I was offered a very good deal uh, on the monthly rate. I figured, okay, as long as it's not substantially worse than my bill, I'll end up, I'll just stick with Roger's, Roger's for a year and then, you know, maybe switch back when Bell's willing to give me a better offer. Um, these are the two modems. Rogers has their white modem. This is supposed to be the the best one that they carry. I don't know that much about it. Haven't had it for that long. Not sure if it's a, a tri-band modem or anything like that. I noticed that the Wi-Fi speeds I was getting on it with my speed test, they were about twice as slow, but Wi-Fi speeds to me aren't a big deal. I mainly care about what I get on my PC, which I will show in a second here what uh, a couple of tests that I'll run to show you the difference. Uh, this is the Bell modem. It's a tri-band modem. It has 12 antennas in it. It is supposed to be better than Rogers. That's what they tell us, but I've never really tried the two side by side, so now I have first-hand experience of doing so, and it seems to be better. Um, so I'm just going to pause the video for a second and go do some tests on my computer. So I'm at my computer now. We ha I have two uh, gaming PCs. Uh, they're both capable of running gigabit internet. I'm just gonna do a speed test on both of them now. So on the first computer, the one I have on the left, this is the Bell. As you can see, the last result I got was 950. I'm just gonna do another test here to see what I get. A 950 download and 113 upload. Let's see how it compares now. There we go, right again. Now I can tell you from my own personal experience, you're just gonna have to trust me that I I always get these speeds. I've never had an issue where I haven't been getting these speeds. When I play my games, my ping's always very consistent. I usually get 949 or higher. Um, sometimes I I get 980. At that, once you get in the 900s, it doesn't it doesn't make a difference. Um, it's not a big enough percent increase either way that you're going to notice any difference between the two. So there's my upload. I'm getting 14 over what I'm technically supposed to get right now. I'm just going to do on the Rogers. As you can see, the last result was 348, which is still pretty good. Uh, it's not It's not bad. It's not the 940 that if you were getting gigabit that you should be getting. But like they say, with Rogers, uh, depending on how many people are using it in your building, the speed can vary. Um, when I was just testing it myself, I got anywhere from, you know, 20 megabits to 350. It's kind of the peak over the last, you know, 30 minutes of me trying it. So it's very kind of all over the place. I'll just do another test here, see what I get. Okay, so 330 again, and the upload is quite a bit slower. I'm just gonna run another on the bell side of things, just to show you how consistent it is. Last time we got 948. 951, we're getting a little bit higher now. Uh, should do one more on the Rogers. Well, luckily, I'm getting back up to the 300, but there was a period of time there. I don't know what was going on, but I was getting 40 or 50. Um, I'm okay, as long as it's like 300 megabit, even if I got 300 on megabit on my Bell, that would be fine uh, for download speed for me, as long as the price was right. But the main concern I'm about to show you, there's a game that I play, it's called League of Legends, and my ping was substantially worse when I was playing on the Roger internet than when I was playing on the Bell. And it was actually twice as bad, I'll see if it still is. 
Just open up a game here. I should pause it for a second. Here is the ping on the Rogers computer. Uh, it's around 40 something, 41. Um, sometimes I noticed it was spiking. There's a 50 there, it would go as high as 60. Whereas if I will play on the computer that's currently connected to Bell, one second, I'll pause the video. On the low computer here, I'm currently getting 20 ping. Sometimes it goes as low as 18. Uh, oops, sorry. I'm running a speed test. The background still, I believe. There we go. It should stabilize here. Usually I get a constant 19 to 21. Doesn't really change much. Depending on the day, sometimes it's like 18. It doesn't seem to be connected to uh, how many people are using the internet at all at one time, which it shouldn't. Basically, this MS number here is just how long it takes uh, me when I input a command into the game, whether it's clicking, using an ability, whatever, how long that, how many thousands of a second that takes to happen. And I play this game at a fairly high level, I've been playing for a long time. And if you play competitive games, uh, the 20 milliseconds difference between the two, sometimes it's even 60, makes a, a substantial difference. Uh, it it takes me roughly twice as much time for a command, for, for my commands to react uh, in the game than it, it would on the Bell internet. So, unfortunately, even though the Rogers is way cheaper, uh, for me, it's it's too much of a performance decrease. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna keep my bell. You know, maybe I can lower the cheaper price that Rogers has. Now, that's just for me because I had a older bell offer. My offer expired. I'm gonna see if I can talk to them and you know try to get a, a better deal. But even though the Rogers with the special offer they gave to me as a first-time customer was quite good. I, I don't think I'm going to keep it. Uh, anyways, I guess that's the end of the video. We can do one more test on each internet just to see how it's going. So this is the bell one more time. Seems to be a little lower, probably because I'm running the game. but. I go to Rogers again. Look at that. Getting 40 again. Like did not expect that. So Yeah, that's that's literally this is You're supposed to get 940. I was getting 300, and then I'm getting an eighth of a third. So like a 24th of the speed that it's supposed to be. And even though this download speed and upload speed isn't supposed to make much of a difference in terms of your game ping, as long as you kind of meet the minimums that it, it requires. Uh, for some reason, like the fiber optic also just has way less latency than a traditional cable connection. So. And if you play, have anybody in the family that plays games or you play games, it's going to make a substantial difference in your ping time in the games. And that's all. Thanks for watching.